What's up at you? For today's video, we're the full Anger Point ability Pokemon team. Anger Point is a pretty interesting ability. If a Pokemon gets hit by a critical hit, it gets its attack completely maxed. Now, it's quite funny because virtually every Pokemon that gets this ability is in Scarlet and Violet. So I looked at the fully evolved Pokemon and some of the standalone forms and I put them on one team with a little bit of a surprise as well. Today, I'm going to have a mixture of single and doubles battle because... Doubles battle is actually easier to get this ability to activate. Now, our uh, first couple of battles here, this is on the uh, Poke Portal, and I'm not really sure of my opponent's name. There may be someone could translate, and I've got a Crocodile lead. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be trying to force the opponent to critical hit me. So we got a uh, camera up lead there. I thought they might go for a Stealth Rock. However, the loser is going to come in here. I'm going to be going for a Fling and Lancet Berry combination. What is Lancet? Set Berry. Lancet Berry is a berry and it gives the same effects as Focus Energy. However, since I'm flinging it, I'm giving those effects to the opponent. So they've got a 50% uh, chance there to actually uh, crit me, which is uh, you know pretty high. In that case, that was actually 100% due to the uh, move that Veluza used against me. So this Crocodile set is Max Health, Max Speed, Jolly Nature, Power Trip, Endure, Shadow Claw, and Fling. Now, with that power trip, I got a boost for every single one of the stages there. So I got 20 base power for every single stage. So power trip was off the charts. Unfortunately, Iron uh, Hands is going to come in and clap my cheeks there, and that is going to end my Crocodile Sweep. I thought I was going to get one there. Next Pokemon is Meow Scudder. Now, you probably think, well, this does have Anger Point, I know, but it is actually a key sort of uh, Pokemon on this team I'm using for doubles. So what I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to be flinging my Lancet Berry onto the opponent. We've got the Iron Hands actually swapping out. Now, the next Pokemon to come is going to be Camera Up. I'm assuming they're going to go for some sort of fire type move. So I went for the uh, Fling and Lancet Berry and gave the Camera Up a critical hit chance. The other is a, a Skill Swap Flower Trick and in Endure. Now, this is actually pretty interesting. I'm like, all right, I'm going to say I go for a skill swap here. And the Cabrupt had Anger Point. Now, it's pretty interesting because this is actually for skill swap on my team. I was actually going to skill swap the Protein and the Anger Point after I activated the Anger Point on my partner Pokemon. And you'll get to see in the uh, doubles battle, but that was the whole point there. I never expected really to get Anger Point for another Pokemon, but you know, that was pretty cool. So I'm like, all right, now I'm going to go for Endure here on the Cabrupt. I may as well see if I can at least get get Anger Point to activate here. Our camera up is going to be going for an Earthquake, and that is going to creep me, activating Meow Skarda's Anger Point, which is crazy. Unfortunately, I actually got burned there by will o -Wiss, and I've really only got one attacking move being Flower Trick. Like, as I said, this is more of a support mod for the other Anger Point Pokemon, but I did a pretty good amount of damage there to the camera up, considering I was burned there, and it was a uh, it was a Fire type, too. So now camera up is going to go for another Earthquake, and that is the end of the Meow Skarda, but there go people anger point me ask Gunner, only on people right show next Pokemon is going to be Tauros here so with the Taurus uh uh Paldea Fire uh, sorry Blaze this is an Endure Drill Run Double Kick Play Blitz set and we got the Scope Lens as the item so what I'm thinking here I may as well go for Endure right because it's still got that a uh, heightened crit chance I lived it on eight help and it crit me and anger point has activated again so I've got three anger point activations so far which is really really cool Especially for singles, you know, like it's much easier in doubles, but in singles, it's you know a lot difficult. So now I'm gonna go for the double kick there, a little bit of disrespect, and like real talk, that's doing a lot of damage there, especially with a critical hit. So the EVs on this one were also max health and max speed, jolly nature too. So I made them very bulky. Next Pokemon is Iron Hands. I know they're going to go for that fake out. And all I can do here is go for Endure, live the fake out. And since you can't use fake out consecutively, they won't be able to use it again. So go for the Flare Blitz here. I just, I knew that I'd faint, but you know, Iron Hands is a very, very bulky Pokemon. So I had to take it out. I didn't think Double Kick was, uh, was going to cut it, you know. So that's the end of my Tauros and the Iron Hands. Next Pokemon is Crabominal. So this is a Pokemon you don't really get to see very often. I think it's really, really cool. So Crabominal is going to be my Endure Fling Lancet preset as well. That's really the only way to make it work in singles. We've got Snowscape and Drain Punch. 
this is going to be max self and max attack adam and nature and i'm going to go for the i actually was surprised out spare but sorry i'm actually running a max speed and max health set my uh my bad there so none of these i was running like max attack on because you know simply after a plus six you're crazy crazy powerful so i managed to live a flamethrower crit and activated my anger point this is four pokemon now with anger point and i'm going to go to the drain punch there and what an absolute unit taking out the electros in one shot there that was so good so uh my bulky uh bulky crab armor is coming through there now i actually would uh, do a lot of damage on top of it if i did have iron fist so i was just thinking that so in comes the uh bravery it's gonna go for a brave bird. obviously i wasn't gonna outspeed that but a very very good effort there by the crab omidal so now i've got two more pokemon left this bravery is a little bit scary for what actually last pokemon so i'm gonna go into my own camera so this camera up is a physical set. So we got Endure, Earthquake, Flame Charge, and Terra Blast Water. At this stage, I know that I'm not going to be able to you know, outpace that at all. So I went for the Flame Charge. Bribery's going to swap out, and in comes Apple Tun. I'm like, I bet this has got thick fat, and my moves are going to do like hardly any damage at all. So I'm like, all right. I don't know if I could do much of this. What I'm going to do is swap out of the camera up and go into Primate. Now, Primate does have a Lancet, Berry, and Fling as well. And I'm going to be trying to make use of that. So this is going to go Protect. So I was like, maybe it's got like Protect and Leech Seed Stall or something like that. I wasn't 100% sure, but usually Protect, uh, you know, commonly does run Leech Seed. So now I'm going to go for the Lancet Fling here. Obviously, it's going to do no damage at all. And we're going to give the uh, Apple Tun a chance of uh, critting me. So here comes Apple Acid. I've got max health, max speed. I get critted. And Anger Point is going to get activated for the fifth time in this battle. Normally, when someone gets an Anger Point activation, they usually get a sweep at. My Pokemon keep getting shut down, but it was pretty funny. So now I'm going to go for the Drain Punch here. It lived, and I was like, man, that is a thick apple ton so that would that would have had to have been max health max defense for sure now they're going to use dracor meteor and i'm going to get critted then that's actually kind of bad because even though dracor meteor drops a special attack if they keep getting crits it's going to be nasty so i'm like all right i've got one more pokemon left it's camera up i absolutely need to be able to get a speed uh, like boost here um i've got salic berry as my item with endures like i have to go for endure here i need to go for that Get the Salad Berry, and then hopefully Anger Point will activate here. So here comes the Draco Meteor. They're, they're, they're abusing the uh, the crit that I gave them, and I got critted on camera. And that is six Anger Points activated in one battle. So every one of my Pokemon had an Anger Point activation. So on top of that, I got that Salad Berry, and now I'm going to go for the Flame Charge. Since I'm plus six there, I'm going to be able to outspeed the Apple Tart, obviously, and take it out. This camera is going to be a max speed set. Believe it or not, we've got uh, Jolly Nature and Max Speed. So, uh, sorry, Max Speed and Max Health. So I managed to live on. Last Pokemon is Bravery. I'm like, well, I, I'm not going to fight this with Flame Charge. No way. Can't use Earthquake. So what I'm going to do is go for a Terra Water. Now, the reason I picked Terra Water on this because it's four times weak to water. So what a great Terra type to actually go for there. So go for that Terra Water on the camera. Clown Mode is activated. And now my opponent is gonna also going to go for a Terra as well on the uh bravery and bravery is going to be a terra normal so i'm like well i've got plus two in speed can i outspeed it if it's choice guard i've got a chance but you know i, I was thinking maybe it's not going to be enough of max speed and it was you know i got the terra blast water off here and that's going to hit really hard taking out the bravery and that is the game what a crazy battle that was there and uh, yeah, thank you to my opponent for the battle. There was uh, some kind of interesting monster seed there too. But uh, there you go, people. There's uh, Anger Point activated six times. Like, that is pure content. And uh, yeah, drop a like if you're enjoying it so far, people. And let's get on to the next battle. So now we've got some doubles action. This is a battle against Cameron. And we have uh, my combination here. So this is why I was using Mouse Garter. So I've got the flower trick. Flower trick is 100% crit every single time. So this is like my standard lead to activate Taurus's anger point, maxing its attack right off the ripper there. Now I'm going to go for the double kick on Mavistiff. Mavistiff has got like a chopple berry. You wouldn't read about it. So the first double kick got stopped, but the second one just 
buried it. So that was a uh, that was pretty interesting there. In fact, if I didn't have double kick there, I believe Mabastiff would have lived because I actually landed two attacks on it, which is you know that you probably wouldn't actually have double kick being useful outside that. So it's you know it's just super situational and lucky. So now we've got the rain dance set up there um, from the Volcarana, and now we're gonna Terra here. So I'm like, okay, I wonder what sort of Terra we're gonna have here. Um, so this is gonna be a Terra flying. So I'm like, okay, that's fair enough. Now that it's Pokemon to come out is also is gonna be low kick. So I've got my combination here. Now low kick is gonna go for endure. I'm like, okay, maybe they've got some sort of item or weakness policy, uh, Salic Leech or so, some sort of like situation thing. So I went for this uh, the Fling Lance Air Break because I wanted to get that crit chance at least onto these other Pokemon. Uh, now I'm gonna go for a Flare Blitz in the rain for a little bit of disrespect. And it's taken Mothman out in one shot in the rain. That was brutal. I just wanted to test out how much it would actually do. So take a little bit of nasty recall there. Next uh, Pokemon is going to be uh, it's going to be Santa. We're a little bit off Christmas here, and now I'm going to go for the Endure. So I, I may as well uh, see what they're going to do and see if I get this Anger Point activated. Now Meow Scarlet is going to go for a Skill Swap. So I'm going to aim for an Anger Point and a Protein on top of that. So that's the whole idea. So now here comes the Acrobatics, and now we've got a Lunge coming from. Uh, the uh, little low kicks there, and that's the end of Meow Scudder. I did get critted, but unfortunately, in this set, I was running a Trick Room set. So instead of Dewa, I was running Trick Room. So in doubles, I sort of, uh, you know, swapped those moves up there. Because I did have a couple of slow Pokemon, like a Bomber Snow, and, uh, you know, things like that. Now, the next Pokemon here is going to be my camera up here. Now, the low kicks has gone for an Endure again. So, we've got the uh, a Fling Toxic Orb there from the uh, Iron Bundle poisoning my camera. Now, getting uh, Poison and Status, or especially Poison, isn't really that great when you're trying to run like... Um, Endure because say if you live a one health from a critical hit, then you're gonna faint the next turn. So you sort of have to watch out for those things there. So that's gonna be an of the iron bundle there. It uh you, know, you fell in a bundle. And now I'm gonna go for a uh what was a flame charge in the rain with a critical hit. So I managed to get that. That's gonna boost camera up speed, which is really good. Unfortunately, here I find out all the low kicks as item is, it's gonna be a weakness policy. So this thing is going to be having a lot of attack. And remember, it did have a Lancet very actually flung to it. So it's got a very, very good chance of critting me with a plus two in attack. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Wochin there. That's going to drop the attack of all my Pokemon. I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz there. Wochin eats it like a snack. But consider that was actually really good though when you think about it because it was raining and it's ability on top of that and no attack EV. So that was very, very impressive. Here comes an Astonish and uh, I got critted. So Anchor Point's going to activate. Like, okay, this is sweet. Come on, camera. we got to get something going here, right? And I went for the Flame Charge here on the low kicks and it's going to get dropped, which is really nice. So it's going to boost my camera up speed even more there. I mean, camera really isn't a primary physical attack. It's, it's not really an offensive sort of Pokemon. It's more of like, um, it's, it's better suited, in my opinion, to like utility, like, uh, you know, stealth rocks, spread a few burns with lava plume, those sort of things, and, you know, earth power, those sort of things. Anyway, next Pokemon I got is Crabonal. We've got this a Titan coming out here. So, like, all right, fair enough. Let's go for Flame Charge here. I'm going to finish off that Wo Chien. So, I've only lost uh, two Pokemon here, but, you know, with these Anger Point teams, when I was running them, my team could disappear really quickly because I was relying on getting critical in it, and that can, uh, that can be very problematic, you know? So that was the whole challenge of this team, to try and make Anger Point activate as many times as possible. So now I'm going to fling the Titan a uh, Lancet Berry. Wow, that's actually a really good nickname. Force of Titan, it, it, it's, um, it's basing off the game. Uh, uh, well, uh, here I call it Pool, but I think... Um, Oh, I'm not really sure what else you'd call him. No, it, it, basically, you get a Q, right? And you, you got the white ball there, and then you fire at all the color balls, and you try and get them in pockets and that sort of stuff. So that's a really good one for the eight ball because that's you know that's the last ball you get down to, and you have to you know sink that to win the game. Pretty cool, uh, sort of uh, uh, little pastime. That's any, does anyone have a pool table in real life? Uh, really, really cool game. Anyway, we're gonna go for the snowscape here. That's gonna benefit my crab. It's also gonna benefit the titan as well. Now, what I'm gonna try do? I'm trying to get another anger point to activate it. I'm like, I've got a little bit of a chance here. I'll go for activations for endure. Hopefully, one of the Pokemon can get critted. Now we've got the Echo Voice. It's a special to Titan, and that's gonna crit my crab. Ominal, so giving it a thumping. 
plus six in attack. So now I can go for Drain Punch. Now, this Primate, I got like quite a few activations with Injui in a row. I don't know whether, I think I got like, matter of fact, I think I might have got, did I get three in a row? I know that I got two. I don't know if I got three in a row, but if I did, like, let me know, because that was like wild luck. Like, anyway, so I'm going to hit by a Chilling Water, dropping my attack one stage. That is absolutely not going to matter at all. So time is going to get one shot at, and, oh, that was the last Pokemon on their team as well. Um, I had one more Pokemon left in the back too, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the doubles battle. I've got another doubles battle right now here, and uh, yeah, so another good combination that you could use in the past with, um, you could use like, uh, I think it was like, Tor like on Kanto Taurus, that was another one, uh, and you could use like the Freeze Dry and stuff like that. That was uh, a pretty uh, sort of fun, sorry, Frost Breath, sorry, Frost Breath, uh, Taurus combination. That was a uh, that was an old one that's been around for a while. So this is the battle against Pimpot. They have been a uh, a lurker since my X and Y stream day. So no one knows what their uh, identity is, but they do rock up the streams, and we do have some pretty funny battles. So we got a Drowsy and a Kamala. You don't get to see uh well you don't get to see Kamala very often, let alone Drowsy. You know what I mean? Look at Drowsy's fingers. They're like uh. I don't know what they're doing, they're like spaghetti fingers. Anyway, it's going to go for a focus miss there on my Miascardo. We're going to see if we can fling these berries and get some critical hits landing on my Pokemon. So uh, it, it, I don't know why it's called Sleepy Ben either. Uh, I don't have fingers like that at all. My fingers aren't like, you know those, um, they, they're, okay, this is what it reminds me of. Those car, you know, those car yards, right? And then you've got these, uh, they're sort of like these, they blow in the wind, right? I don't know what you call them. I, I, I don't know what the name is, but they're like these. They're made out of like a material. They sort of like uh, go from side to side. You know what I'm talking about, those flying things. Anyway, they're sort of like a kite, but it might be a kite. Maybe that's what it's called. Anyway, so they fly in the in the wind. That, that's what, you know, Drowsy's fingers sort of remind me of. Anyway, it sort of reminds me as well, there's this bicycle shop, and there's like this Santa that's on there. Like, he's been on there for about 20 years. He's riding the bikes like an automatic Santa. It's, it's kind of creepy. Anyway, so back to the battle. Sorry, I'm going off on a little bit of tangent there. Out comes the blue crab there. And uh, actually, that's, that's actually pretty nice because you can get the crabs in real life. They're like blue mana crabs. It sort of like reminds me of that. It's probably not that blue. It's like a dark blue. You know, you scoop it with your net and stuff like that. I'm going on a massive tangent today. So now we've got Sleepy Bean using Disable on my Tauros, disabling my Drill Run because it missed. So that was very, very unfortunate. Now, Meowskar is going to get hurt by the poison, and so is Taurus, because the Drowsy used uh, Poison Gas. Poison Gas is a good move in doubles, because it can hit both the opponents. So here comes a uh, attacking move for my Meowskar. Pretty good damage here to Drowsy. Here comes a double kick. Uh, that actually does a lot of damage. The second one, I believe, yeah, that was, that second one did a lot more damage than the first, and that is the end of the claw. So now we're gonna drain, what is this drowsy set? It was like drain punch, focus, miss, disable. What is going on? I have no idea what sort of drought. I mean, it's good to see Drowsy being used, but this set is out of this world. So, some more poison damage on the Taurus and the Meowskata. Next Pokemon is going to be the Cinderace. Oh, it's a shiny one, too. Now, Cinderace is going to cause me a few problems here. I probably need to get rid of it, but, you know, I haven't got a Pokemon fated yet, so I'm in a pretty powerful position. So, Cinderace is going to be a Terra, and it's going to be Terra Ice. I'm like, okay, I wonder what... I wonder what sort of uh, strategy this is running with Terra Ice. So I went for the skill swap here because I thought it'd be pretty funny to uh, get Libero on me, Ascada, and give the Cinderace Anger Point. I was like, I hope that doesn't activate though. That's the thing, you know, imagine activating it on Cinderace. That'd be crazy. So that's going to be another Taurus set. It's going to hit me with a high jump kick. Uh, bye bye Taurus, and uh, they got the uh, life orb there on top of the Cinderace too, so i got to watch out for that. Meowskar is going to uh, actually avoid the attack, which is really cool there, and I've got like, you know, probably two to more turns left until that faints. Maybe one, you know. Next Pokemon is going to be Crookadile, so Crookadile, I'm going to go for the Endure here. I'm hoping I get critted, and uh, I'm going to see what the opponent's going to do. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go for the Flower Trick. Well, I don't need to hope. I know that I can activate it with Meowskar. Very, very nice. So now it's got plus six in attack, which is very, very good. And uh, I'm going to eat my own land set berry. Now, that's something I didn't cover either. If you do consume your own land set berry, you gain the effects of the focus energy too. So say you get anger point and you consume your own berry with a 50% chance to crit, you are going absolutely crazy there. But uh, yeah, anyway, back to the battle there. I'm going to take some more damage from the uh, poison and the attacking move from the drowsy. I think it used uh, poison gas again. It actually missed, which is kind of, you know, kind of lucky there. So go for the flower trick on Sleepy Ben, and it is going to be taking out the uh, drowsy. Doesn't Hypno 
Well, not drowsy. I don't know about drowsy, but I know that Hypno, like, steals, like, dreams and weird stuff like that. So, I don't know why, uh, I don't know why I'd be sleepy, but I don't know if it even would go. Does drowsy and Hypno even sleep? Like, I feel like they'd be up all night, like, stealing people's dreams and stuff like that. So, uh, Mia Skada is going to be fainting. We're going to go into Primate here. I need to get rid of this, uh, this Cinderace. It's a big problem. So, We've got camera up the primer here, but once again, I'm going to try and get my ability to activate. Next Pokemon is going to be L Lycan Ben. I don't look like a Lycan Rock at all. I mean, I do like the color blue. That's that's about the only uh, similarity there, I think. So here comes a high jump kick. Camera up takes that very, very nicely. And uh, we're going to have some more health loss on the Cinderace. Here comes Psychic Fangs. That does a huge amount of damage and drops my Primate. That Primate was max health as well. Dang, they did a lot of damage. So that's the end of Primate. Last Pokemon I've got is the Crab Ominal. i, I got to make things happen here. So out goes the Lycan Rock, and in comes Froakie. So we've got Froakie. I was like, what is this Froakie set going to be? It's going to be a Troll set, but I don't know what, what it's you know, actually going to be here. So I've got to go for a little Timmy Terror here. Um, things are not looking too good. So what I'm going to be doing is go for a Terra Fighting on Crab Ominal. I thought, if I can get that Drain Punch hitting hard, and maybe I can get you know Anger Point activated, this thing is going to do a lot of damage. Plus, I'll lose my Ice Typing too, which uh, is going to be kind of nasty. So I managed to live that Gunk Drop pretty well there, but, you know, I've got Poison, but I'm like, oh, that really, really sucks. So, I mean, it is what it is, bro. So Cinderace is going to lose a little bit of health here. I've gone for the Flame Charge on the Froakie swapping in there. So Froakie managed to live that. No, obviously, it's not very effective. So here comes the uh, Terra Drain Punch. I'm going uh, straight for that Froki, and I'm going to drop it there. I was going for the uh, the Lycan Rock, but since Froki came in there, you know, it obviously sponged the attack. I would have liked to get rid of Lycan Rock, but it is what it is, right? Next Pokemon is Lycan Rock and Cinderace. We're actually both down to our last Pokemon. So in comes uh, Lycan Ben again there. Hey, look, it does have a sleepy expression on its face, so I don't know. So Lycan Rock's going to go for a Protect there. It's good to use protection. And uh, now what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try and get rid of this uh, this Cinderace. Here comes High Jump Kick. Crab Ominal lives, which is crazy. I didn't actually expect that. And now I'm going to eat my Lancet Berry of my own, which is going to be, you know, pretty beneficial. So I'm going to have to Flame Charge there on the Cinderace, and that is going to be enough to take it out, which is awesome. Giving me another uh, well-needed speed boost too. So now I'm going to go for the Drain Punch here on the uh, Lycanroc, but it went for protection there. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get any damage at all. And the Poison is going to fight me. So now it is down to Lycanroc and Camerupt here. So a uh, good effort there by the uh, by the Crab Omeral. So now I'm going to go for the Earthquake on the Lycanroc. It's dropped it in one shot, and that is the end of the second doubles battle. I got a nice juicy little crit there at the end. Hope you enjoyed the Anger Point ability. What a really cool ability this one is. All right, people. Peace out.